Hello everyone, my name is Shireen. Um, I'm from Iran, but I live here in the United States. Uh, first of all, I should thank um, Dr. Uh, Truman because he said many things that I needed to tell you and explain you before I started this article that one of uh, my friends wrote this and uh, <laughs> explain, he explained that um, what's going on in the Middle East uh, especially in Iran and um, how is the situation. Um, to reputation, I can say that Middle East is um, a land of religions. Um, most of religions comes from Middle East and you know that. Um, and also, most of religions were, um, were from Middle East. And, um, uh, Iran is one of the countries that um, many people uh, with different religions lived over there and now uh, after 40 years revolution, 95% of people are Muslims and Shia. Um, there is a man, um, as a religious um, leader, we don't have a presentation for me. I found it. You know how to Keep going. <laughs> it was good if you can see the picture. Um, he's a religious leader and he tried to find a, um, a way, uh, he has a plan um, for peace between other religions, between all religions, not just Muslims. And um, he believed that uh, peace is um, um, possible to be in Middle East and all over the world. Um, one of his students had um, tried to gather some um, papers about his idea. And um, it's a mathematical model to attain peace based on monetarism. And um, he said that monetarism can um, bring peace for all over the world. Um, because of um, um, this article, because of this um, um, research that he did. And we, we're going to go through this. Yeah, there's some assumption, actually two assumptions for this article. Um, one is um, development of human society, and second one is God is the creator. If we agree, um, these, these two assumptions, um, we can go through the um, rest of the article. So first of all, um, we know that during the history, all society um, tried to develop, tried to um, get more moderate and um, earn more you know, civilization, and uh, especially during the 500 years um, ago, uh, since 500 years. And um, the second assumption is that we believe that God created everything, created uh, humankind, created um, every creature and everything that is uh, in the universe. And um, if you believe that God created everything in this universe, you know that God has um, a sense, names, and attributes. God is a source of uh, or power of uh, kindness and peace. So monetism uh, or monetis, <laughs> you're not my students. Oh, please go back one slide. Yeah. We can say every human being is a tear according to, it, uh, to this belief or plan, because we try to find some relation between all people, or uh, idea, all different religions, or every, um, every human being with any thought. If, if um, someone, if a person believes in God, so it's welcome to this article, to this plan, to this peace. If uh, someone believes in several gods, so he actually or she knows that 
there is many ascents, there is several ascents. That person finds several ascents. So, but that person couldn't find the difference between these ascents. But he's welcome to this article or plan. Uh, if the person is idolater, he found the God's name, so it's an um, or uh, attributes from the God, so and shape it as an idol. So it actually that person believe in God too. And the worst case is that person um, is a pagan. Pagan, you know that some people call them nature religious. They say universe create everything. But we say that this plant say that they also bring the believe believes in God because. The, the energy or the universe is the other name of the God because they believe that universe creates something or create everything or nature. But just they believe on something or some of them say there is a God but we don't believe there is God. So they believe the essence, the essence of God. So they are welcome to that, that group. Now we're gonna um, we're going to uh, review the uh, the mathematical model for this um, actually this um, plan um, according to fuzzy logic. You know that fuzzy logic um, variable fuzzy variable uh, is a quantity can that can take and uh, can take um, linguistic uh, rather than um, Actual numerical value of, um, and um, value. I'm sorry. And uh, um, if you go next slide, please. You see we have x and there is an area here. We have absolute pagan and absolute monotheist. Uh, all universe, all human beings live between zero and one. No one is absolute pagan, and no one is absolute monetist. So, all human beings are between zero <coughs> and one. This um, symbolic presentation is just like that, but uh, it can use just color and circle. That this color is absolute monetized, and that's the lightest color, absolute pagan. And the, all society, all people moving through the absolute monetized. So, what these, these two shapes wants, wants, wants to talk to me about us? That same day, if we believe it, if um, all society um, are developing or goes to um, development, so they goes to find more peace and goes to absolute monetize this day. If a person believes in God, and we, we told that God, uh, hand, God is power of kindness, peace. So yeah, that person moved to uh, toward the peace and absolute monetize. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Because no one is. Um, against the peace, no, no, no society, even no religions, uh, come and say, um, uh, we, we don't want peace, we want war. Or even if you break down to just a person, uh, a person wants peace for um, them, uh, at least themselves, everyone. And um, so everyone wants peace, and everyone like. Um, kindness and peace. So everyone goes through the monetize. If you look at this, look like this to other 
um, all religious. Um, there is no place to an enmity or you know um, conflict and war between all other ideas. There is the EA or evolutionary um, algorithm that shows that this um, shapes figure that shows. During the history, um, we have some mut muta uh, mutation. And um, if um, I want to say that this example, uh, look at the nature. In nature, um, there is a rule that weak creature should go and just uh, stronger stay and they're going to leave. So yeah, look at this. We can come back here and uh, simulate with this shape that during the every mutation, that shape that they are lighter, or we can say now they don't like peaks or they don't like to, they don't like to be uh, when it is. They're going to move or remove from the society and goes toward the peace and justice and kindness. And these are <laughs> basic assumptions that explain that figure that we saw that in a, that algorithm. Yeah, it's like that mutation um, it, uh, monetism, um, is a jump between um, any generation that any, um, all believers, regardless of their belief, they um, come together and um, they're going to be the great monetists and they're going to make the universe. Hence, I told you and yeah, explained that uh, figure at every generation. Um, this algorithm um, shows that um, society, or we can get, we can say nature, goes toward the uh, removing the uh, weakness or removing um, some people that are against the war, against the peace. You, you know that you you can see that in every society, no one likes war or and someone who makes the world. Who is that say, um, I'm, I worship the, uh, I don't know, a, a war maker, right? So what, um, every society worships some people that um, take effort to bring peace and uh, say something or do something against the war. Um, Um, can you go back to okay, thank you. As I told you, uh, this plan was um, a plan to bring peace in, um, especially in Middle East, all, but, but all over the world, for all people, all religions. Um, if you believe that everyone are the same, doesn't matter what's the details of any religion, but they say, in, um, for example, Christian or details, or um, what they say, Jewish people, in details. And there is no war, there is no place to enmity. When we see, we are the same, we all believe in uh, one God that he is um, a power, source of power, or peace, or kindness. When all religious looking for peace, looking for something, so there is no place to war. And um, uh, Mr. Burjabi, um, try to um, gather people in Iran that uh, you know that the biggest country for Shia people and um, the big um, community for Shia people in Middle East and uh, he tried to gather people and teach them how to worship God how to remove these um, some uh, I can say non-peaceful idea that Shia are against the Sunni or this is kafir, this is Muslim, and uh, these people are going to go to the um, heaven and he's going to go to the, you know, 
fire or, or something like that that every religion might have. But uh, he tried to teach the student that um, how to worship the, worship the God, how to know the God, and um, God has um, some, you know, we can find some similarity in other religion and find um, uh, some relationship between other people, uh, find the peace actually. And uh, but he uh, got arrested in 2006 um, and um, sent to jail for 11 years. And, um, but he's he still um, in, inside the prison and try to uh, publish books and try, and try to teach his students. And um, he actually published a plan um, and the PCR group um, advocate his idea and the um, PCR group advocate human rights and civil rights. Thank you. <laughs>